Hey guys, this is Justin at the Survival Review, and I'm just going to do a trailer review of the new trailer they just released for Man of Steel, the new Superman movie. Now this is a trailer I've been waiting to see for a while now, just because this is a movie I've been really interested in, just because it's Superman, and I've been wanting to see a new Superman movie for a while now. So, this trailer is epic. Like, and this movie is hands down my most anticipated movie of next year. Um, and this trailer, there's just a lot of good stuff in there. Like, it's a pretty, like, epic trailer. It's really dramatic. It's not really, like, bright or anything, kind of like how Superman usually is. It's a little more darker take. And for those of you who don't know, it's directed by Zack Snyder, who directed 300 and Watchmen and the Down the Dead remake. And it's produced by Christopher Nolan. And if you don't know who he is, where have you been the past few years? He's the director of the Dark Knight trilogy. He's producing it. And <laughs> the trailer, I was always kind of skeptical like, because of the fact that it's going to be another origin story. And I feel like Superman is the one origin story where it's been done so many times. But this the stuff we're seeing in the trailer is kind of a little more serious. You can tell it's going to be a little more character-driven origin. Whereas a lot of other origin stories have been like, oh, here's him as a young boy, here's him as a teenager. This one you can tell is going to, more, is going to delve deeply into him. Like, like, there's a scene where you see that Superman save, that Clark saved this kid and like his mom saw us, saw, the kid's mom saw that. And like, uh, um, Clark is talking to his dad and he's like, what should I have done? Let the guy die? And, and actually his dad's just like, well, maybe. And like, what? That's a little dark. But you see brief glimpses. You see a brief glimpse of Zod, who's gonna be the major bad guy. He was the bad guy in Superman 2. And I'm I'm a little bummed that they are using him because he's been an overused villain. But I want to see how they, what their take is on him. And it looks like there's gonna be a big alien invasion in the movie because there is a shot of somebody standing on the doorstep and you see an alien ship flying in. But it just looks like oh, just I don't know. It's hard to explain. Just it looks really cool. Visually, it looks like it's going to be a much more visual film than Superman Returns, definitely. Much more, it looks better than Superman Returns, that's all I really have to say. And I like that it's going to be a different take, like, Superman Returns, for when I saw it, it was cool, because when I was a kid, I loved the um, Christopher Reeve films. So to see a film that was actually a sequel and kind of part of that universe, it was cool. It was cool seeing the like, classic style credits. That was awesome seeing that on the big screen. I remember that. That being so cool. But as of now, and now I don't really care that much anymore. And I want to see a new original take on Superman that doesn't isn't trying to recreate all the Richard Donner stuff and and trying to be more original. And that's what it looks like this is gonna be. Like I can't wait to see like their intro, their their take on this. And I can't wait to see an original take on Superman. And it looks. Just like it looks like crazy. It looks really, like I said, it looks really dramatic. Like there's shots of, which they just used on a poster, of Superman like um, handcuffed walking down a hallway with army guys. So it is a little more dramatic tone. Which some people may not like because Superman is much more of a fun character. Nowhere near as dark as like Batman. But this is going in a in a darker route. But I'm I'm interested. I'll see how it goes. It still looks like it's gonna be like action packed and like. So it doesn't, it's not going to be like, I don't think it's going to be totally serious, because they, they can't do that with Superman. He's not a completely serious character. But I think they, they can do a serious take on that. Something I, I would wouldn't mind seeing. Um, Trailer has a lot of cool shots. Like shots of uh, Superman on fire, like he has a shirt off, he's like standing in the door one, he's on fire, and that, that looks pretty cool. And there's one shot that I believe it's Krypton being destroyed. Well, that's what it looks like. You see a person standing kind of like a little, like, almost like doorway. There's a giant window in front of her, and you see all these explosions going on. It looks like a Krypton. That looks insane right there. I'll be honest with you. That looks cool. So, yeah, this is definitely a trailer I've been wanting to see, because the first teaser trailer they released in July with Dark Knight Rises wasn't really much at all. And it really kind of felt like it was meant for the people who didn't really know that they were making a new Superman movie. Kind of like, oh, by the way, a new Superman movie. So this, um, I was actually looking forward to that because I was expecting the Comic-Con trailer, which I heard had so much more stuff in it, so I was really disappointed. But I did see the Comic-Con trailer, the Comic-Con trailer was cool. 
And I actually think it's pretty funny to see that we finally get our first like real good glimpse of footage from the movie in December, and the original release date was this was December. So I'm not sure if it was. I think I'm not sure if it's meant to be this Friday or not. But it was originally meant to come out in this month, and I think it was supposed to come out actually this Friday because I remember it, it was going to come out like with The Hobbit. So that was pretty crazy. Um, it, it got obviously it's pushed back. It's coming out in June, and it's something I'm really excited for because it's a like it just you're just, you're just interested in seeing how they can do a new Superman movie because there really there hasn't been a good one for a while, but there but. There hasn't been one since Superman Returns in 2006, so like it's been a while, and it's such an iconic character. You want to see what they do. It's not just like, like Thor or somebody where it's like, oh, I've heard of him. It's okay. It's something somebody this big and and great director behind it, Zack Snyder. He's a great director, <clears throat> even though I've only I haven't seen the Dawn of the Dead remake, and I kind of don't want to. And I haven't seen Sucker Punch, but I have seen 300 and Watchmen, and I love both those movies. You can't see it, but right over up there behind the camera is a Watchmen poster. So, I like I like Watchmen. He's a good director, and this is the movie I really want to see. And one that I'm excited for this trailer elevated that excitement even more. The point where it is my most hyped movie of next year. Um, uh, the movies coming out next year: you have Iron Man three, Thor two, The Dark World, and The Wolverine, and Can't Man of Steel. Those are the four big comic book movies, and Man, uh, Man of Steel totally is the best. After that, probably be Iron Man. And I'm, I'm interested. I, I hope, I really hope the Wolverine is good. So, that's what I'm kind of hoping for. And Thor, uh, I'll be, I'll see, I don't know. Nothing that, there's nothing in there that's really elevating my excitement for that. But Superman, definitely a great trailer. This one, worth watching. Epic trailer. A lot of great shots. You can tell us we're going to really... It's not just going to be an action-oriented movie, it's going to be a lot of story in it. But I doubt it's going to be as story-filled as Superman Returns, luckily. So, this looks like it's going to be a great film. I'm excited for the new trailer when that finally comes out. I'm excited for this movie. Um, so yeah, that's all I can say about this. This movie looks awesome. So yeah, this is Justin. Talk to you guys later. I'm excited for this movie. Um, so yeah, that's all I can say about this. This movie looks awesome. So yeah, this is Justin. Talk to you guys later.